What's up guys, Shavon here, back with a new video. Today I'll be showing you my jailbreak setup and what I've been working on over the past few days. So, first up on the list guys, I have this tweak enabled called Adaptive Keyboard. So if you guys are bored of having the same keyboard in every application, with Adaptive Keyboard, every application gets its own individual keyboard color. So Adaptive Keyboard basically calculates the dominant color from the application icon and uses it, it as the keyboard color within the app next up since we're talking about keyboards i have swipe selection pro it's a new way to edit text on ios using gestures on the keyboard to move the cursor and select text so instead of using the magnifying glass on the by holding down and finding the text you just swipe across the keyboard as i'm swiping here this is ios 10 and that's the new water gun emoji that Apple use instead of a revolver. I don't know why Apple use it, but I mean, maybe they're trying to cut out the crime and violence, but anyways, more in depth of the keyboard, it is not a theme, it's the actual iOS 10 beta 4 package keyboard that has over 100 new emojis. I found this tweak on Reddit, so you guys should definitely check it out. It has a bunch of new emojis and new emoji style look, more depth and 3D. So as I'm respringing my device, you will see a Pokeball logo animation. So instead of the Apple logo, I have a Pokeball boot logo. And that's exactly exactly what the tweak is called, Pokeball boot logo. Next up on this list, guys, I have this tweak called Battery Peak. And because I'm going for a clean look, I use this tweak. So all you have to do is double tap with the activator gesture and then you, you'll see the percentage. So I don't really keep my percentage on my status bar because I'm going for a cleaner look. So I use battery peak. Up next we have Mobius. All this does is that it scrolls infinitely through your springboard pages and it also works in folders too. So you guys should definitely check that out. As you can see in my dock you have some icon bouncing that's called bounce notify 8. Basically just bounce, yeah, the dock bounces with pending notifications and it's a really cool animation you should definitely check that out as well and back with the android look going on here i have search widget 2015 what this does is that you can search directly from your home screen or use google now to make a voice search it requires google app from the app store and no no tweet from Cida to use the voice search i haven't enabled the voice search as yet because i don't have the google app and as you can see, I just use hot corners from a tweet called Axio 3. Axio 3 is comprised of three powerful features, multi-center, quick switcher, and hot corners. By seamlessly utilizing the bottom edge of the screen, all three functions perform with one another as well as completely standalone depending on your configurations. Multi-center gives the ability to swipe up from the screen, the middle edge of the screen to access multitask, and you can also swipe up again. To close all applications running in the background but this doesn't close the music app which is good and as you can see right here I have a different type of music app because of Colorflow 2 what Colorflow 2 does is that it colors your music and it just gives it a, a good color I like how the color look and it also works with Spotify so if you're on a lock screen, you see the album art and the color. If you jump into the music app as well, you'll realize that any album, um, any song you choose, it just basically takes over the color and it gives you a really nice look. I like it more than the stock music application. So that's Colorflow 2. I think I got it from David Goldman Repo. You should definitely check that out. Up next, going for the Android look again, I have App Drawer. I don't really use App Drawer a lot because you can't really swipe across from the, um, what I would call this, the springboard itself within the application. You'd have to tap the favorite, and that's very inconvenient for me. So I don't really use App Drawer as much. What I use the most is Edge. What Edge does is that it brings a similar experience to the Samsung S7 side interference to iOS. With configurable pages, Edge allows you to quickly open recent apps, trigger a task, accept favorite apps, as well as accessing your favorite contacts. But on this tweet, they call it people. 
so you should definitely check out edge i really use this a lot all my favorite app right there you guys should definitely check that out up next i have screen recorder that i use to record my pokemon go gameplay although i don't really upload a lot because i'm not sure if you guys like pokemon go so i didn't upload it a lot so it basically records your screen direct to h.264 and it also has app and a website to manage recordings so if you go back in there hit the app you'll definitely see the video stop the recording and you'll see the video you can share save it to camera roll rename the recording opening ifl and a bunch more different things you can do so it actually records your mic audio as well and that's good and it can adjust your frame rate and quality settings and a lot of different activator gestures to open as you can see going for the clean status bar again i also have status vol x that is really good because it doesn't have that big old interference when you're using your status volume on when you're watching a video and up next again dealing with the status bar going for the clean look i have movable 9 so what this does is that it arranges your ios status bar icons you can move the status bar time to the left your wi-fi bars to the right and many more it cannot however move any icons created by lib status bar which means it cannot move application icons created by open notifier and it also very unfortunately cannot move system icons as you can see i'm running an ios 6 device right now and i've enabled that tweet called reveal menu what this does is that it imports the real springboard 3d touch function from the new devices to the old devices so as you can see i have 3d touch enabled right there i'm using it on my iphone 6. up next we have this tweet called delete forever what this does is that it's a simple simple tweak that add an extra option to delete permanently in the stock photos app so basically when you go to your recently delete photos you won't see it up next again we have android like tweak it's called Re reveal nc9 so it's an android style swipe animation for the notification center basically and one of my favorite tweaks because i'm running so many sources and tweaks and so forth it's called power tap what this does is allows you to toggle the power down bar through different settings such as reboot respring and resave by simply hitting the power down menu um next guys we have anchor and what this does is that it allows you to freely place your icons your icons will be basically anchored to the row and column you place them in so as you can see right there that is actually the weather app and i integrated it with i widgets which i will talk about in a few so anchor allows you to put your app in any order you don't need to use i blanks or blank applications you just anchor them to any part on your home screen and it will definitely stay there so i used anchor and iwidgets together to get that really good tweak animation going on right there so iwidgets is basically a html widget on your springboard all you need to do is hold down and on an empty space on the home screen to bring up the menu and a manual respring or restart may be required to show your desired widgets up next guys we have folder in answer as you can see i have a four by four column going going on there and also if you realize i have color badges enabled what color badges do is that it colorizes your badges and modifies it to the spe specific app icon guys i have this tweak called sleep effects it has stunning effects when the screen dims from the makers of tv tube so guys if you like this jailbreak setup video please give it a like down below and definitely subscribe for more videos so as always you know what i have to say look more